When it comes to knife sharpening, the number one question that everybody starts out asking is, well, I don't know what angle I use to sharpen my knife. Well, you can use a goniometer like this, which is laser, that shows you exactly what the knife angle is, or you can use the magic marker method, which is what we're gonna talk about today. Now, the magic marker method lets you mark your blade and using the 1000 grit of the hone rolling knife sharpener, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna roll that across the blade and take a look at the mark we made. And that's gonna give us some tips as to whether our knife is too shallow or if the angle is too steep. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and mark up our knife. You can use any magic marker. This is one that I really like. It's a Tormek knife sharpening marker. We're gonna go ahead and take our marker. We're gonna mark the edge of this all the way down so that that blade is black and there's no silver along the edges. Now, how do you know where to start? You have a 15 degree side and you have a 20 degree side with most of the rolling knife sharpeners. However, the home was the first to come to market with the angle mate, which lets you sharpen your knife at any angle. We'll talk about that in a second. First thing you have to do is determine what angle is this? And if it's not a 15 or a 20, how are we gonna know? Well, here's how you do it. We marked our knife. We're gonna go ahead and put this on the 15 degree angle. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our 1000 grit, which is the number two disc, and we're gonna go ahead and roll it across the knife like so. And then we take a look and see what it looks like. And if the magic mark is removed, and is it removed at the top, is it removed at the bottom, or is it removed all the way across that narrow blade edge? If we look at this, we can see that all of the marker is not removed. And that's because this blade angle is at 15 degrees, and you can see that the top part of it is being hit, but the bottom of it is being missed. So if the top part or the apex area here, okay, is the area that you see where the black marker is removed, but the black marker is on the bottom, that means that your angle is too deep. You have to actually shallow the angle, and that's gonna allow us to get the other part of the blade. So if you can imagine here is the roller, you can see that we're missing this lower part. As you take the blade and you make it a sharper angle or a narrower angle, you'll see that we're now starting to touch that metal. So remember, if the top is taken off and the bottom is not, you need to go ahead and decrease your angle. If the top has marker and the bottom does not, you have to go ahead and increase your angle to get the top. That's a simple rule. Just remember those two things, you'll be good to go. Now, 15 degrees is not cutting it, and this indicates that I need to be on a narrower angle blade. So I'm gonna go down to 13 degrees. Using the Hone Angle Mate, the back of the package you'll get if you buy this separately, or if you have the Hone Professional Accessories Kit that you've just ordered recently, it comes now with the Angle Mate. But if not, you can pick these up, they're fairly inexpensive, and you get two of these in the set. The reason you need two is because each of these is a two degree angle, and by putting one or two under each side, you will get all the angles you need to sharpen any knife from 11 degrees up to 24 degrees. So this guy tells you if you want to get a 17 degree angle, 19 degree angle, 13 degree or 11 degree, you're gonna put this underneath the 15 degree side. The other angles, you'll put it underneath the 20 degree side. How that works is this two degrees will lift up the 15 and make it a 13. If you put it on this side, the 20 becomes an 18. And using that math with the multiple additions of the hone angle mate, you can get all those different angles. So we're gonna go ahead and put this underneath the 15, which will give us 13 degrees. And we're gonna go ahead and put this back on. And we're gonna go ahead and run our 1000 degree grit across this, all the way across. And we're gonna take a look and see what it looks like. And if we look, all of that marker is now removed. There's a little tiny line at the top, but that's where your angle actually changes from the secondary bevel to the primary bevel. So you'll notice there might be a little bit of a black line, but that's at that area where the kind of V is in the blade. So you wanna look and make sure that blade, the apex, that part at the very bottom has no black on it. And here you can see there's no black at all on this, meaning this knife is 13 degrees. Now I also used this before to double check and it is in fact, if I set this in and look at this, it is coming across at a 13 degree angle. If you wanna look at 
the goniometer. There, I have some other videos you'll see me using it. And if you have any questions about it, you can send me a DM at Instagram or at Facebook at Ukulele JBBQ, and I'll be glad to discuss it with you. I've had quite a few people want to order these, I've sent a bunch of these out. People are now using these and like them, but this actually works very well. It just may take you a couple times to find what that angle is. Once I know this is a 13 degree angle, I'm gonna keep this knife at that angle and I'll always use 13 degrees. Now, a lot of people have asked me, well, why do you use a 13 degree angle? I thought you're always using a 17 degree angle. And typically my knives are 17 degrees. That's my preferred angle. I like them better than 15 degree knives and I like them better than 20 degree knives. As far as the cut that I get, the amount of friction through the proteins or the vegetables that I use. And I just think 17 is a really great angle. You can pick whatever angle you like. There's no right or wrong answer, but I stick to 17 degrees. However, when it comes to a sushi knife or a knife that I'm gonna do fine garnishing with, and I need to get really thin cuts on that, I'm gonna go ahead and use a 13 degree knife, which is one of these, to go ahead and cut this. And this is a little cherry tomato. And I'm gonna show you that just running this across like so, get absolutely translucent, paper thin cuts. And this is really, really thin. That's why I use this as a 13 degree. It's my garnishing knife. I can do really fine things. I can get some nice curves out of it. And because that knife is really narrow, it just glides through everything with extreme ease. Now, I wouldn't use this cutting meat off of a bone or things like that, because it's gonna dull this knife pretty quickly. Remember, the sharper the angle, so 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, the duller that knife is gonna get, and it's gonna get dull quicker. Even with honing, that knife will actually dull a lot faster than a 17 degree knife because you have a lot more steel on that apex. So that's how you determine the angle for your knife to get it sharp. Go ahead and recommend that if you have the hone, pick up the hone angle mate. And the great thing is, if you don't have the hone angle mate, you can still pick one up and use it on any other sharpener. We don't need to have all these blocks with six different, eight different angles that everybody's doing. This is what I love is that everything is so compact. It all fits in one little area and I'm not expanding out and buying all these different bases to get the different angles. So I hope you enjoy this video. It's a short one. If you'd like to see something else with the hone and angle sharpening, or you wanna learn more about the goniometer, drop a comment down below, let me know what you think. Please make sure you like and subscribe because as my channel grows, I have opportunities to do new things with new manufacturers and new companies and bring you the latest in culinary technology. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Smoke on, baby!